Hello and welcome to Miss Kindred's Read Aloud. This book is called How Many Jawbreakers? A book about honesty. This book is written by Terry Thornton. This book was given to my little brother a long time ago. See? Stephen. So this was Mr. Steve's book when he was young. And our grandma gave him the book. Okay, I hope you enjoy. How many jawbreakers? Since the first day of school, a jar, excuse me, a glass jar full of delicious jawbreakers had been sitting on Mrs. Allen's desk. Some lucky person would win that jar, and I really hoped it would be me, Andy Jackson. We were supposed to estimate, that's a fancy word for guess, just how many jawbreakers were in the jar. The boy or girl with the closest estimate would get to keep the jar and the jawbreakers. Mrs. Allen said we would write down our answers this afternoon. After lunch, we went outside to play kickball. Mrs. Allen forgot her whistle and asked me to go back and get it. I ran to the room and found the whistle on her desk. Right next to the whistle was a small note. I turned it around so I could read it. It said, 732 jawbreakers. I couldn't believe my luck. It was the answer to the contest. I grabbed the whistle and rushed out of the room. During the kickball game, I kept thinking about the note. I know how many jawbreakers there are. I'm going to win. The jawbreakers will be mine. <laughs> Then I started thinking about something else. To write 732 on my paper would be cheating, but I really wanted those jawbreakers. Oh, help me do what's right. After the game, we all went back to class. Mrs. Allen said, Okay, boys and girls, this is it. You've used your best estimating skills and have come up with a number. Write down your answer on a sheet of paper. I couldn't decide what to do. The jar would be mine if I cheated. Everyone else was passing their papers forward. Finally, I wrote down 237, just the opposite of the 732 I saw on the note. I was sad that I wouldn't win, but at least I felt good inside knowing that I did what was right. At last, Mrs. Allen said, I've looked at all your estimates and there were a lot of close ones. But the winner is, oh, wait. Christy had to leave early today and she left her guests on my desk. I couldn't believe it. That was the note I saw on the desk. After looking at Christie's answer, Mrs. Allen said, 
There were 232 jawbreakers. The closest estimate was 237 by Andy Jackson. Congratulations, Andy. How did you come up with 237? It was an honest guess, Mrs. Allen. A real honest guess. I hope that you enjoyed the story and that you choose to be honest when the time comes. Honesty is always best. <laughs> Ta-ta for now.